there is no vacancy and Mr. Shirley can return to his seat. Let's take it to the court alone and let a judge decide. Several Anderson County School Board members walked out as a board meeting was in progress tonight. They say the meeting was illegal. The conflict stemmed from another school board member's resignation. 7 News Ann Maxwell was at that meeting. She's joining us now from 7 on Main in Greenville to explain what was going on this evening. Ann. Tom, this board has been in conflict for a while now. Board member Stu Shirley sent an email about a month ago saying he was resigning effective immediately. But tonight, the acting chair of the board cited legal opinions saying Shirley can't just leave his post that easily. It was standing room only at an Anderson County School District 2 board meeting Monday night. After a raucous last meeting, five deputies were on hand to escort anyone unruly out of the building. But the only people who made an exit were board members. I refuse to participate in this board meeting in protest that we could be subject to a law. Good night. Kevin Kraft and Phil Ashley walked out. Jimmy Oots, who had called in from vacation, hung up. The move came after the acting chair of the board, Bonnie Knight, read opinions from the state attorney general's office and another attorney, saying board member Stu Shirley's resignation was not valid. At this time, I would ask Mr. Stu Shirley to take his seat at the board table. Opponents of the move say this exposes taxpayers to potentially pricey litigation. This school board at a risk of a major lawsuit. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I remind you that the Attorney General's office is the highest legal representative office in the state. With four board members present, the meeting continued without Kraft, Ashley, and Oots. They say the meeting isn't valid because if Shirley isn't considered reinstated by a court, enough board members aren't present to meet the law's requirements. And that there's no court. But divisions run deeper than Shirley's resignation. School board member Kevin Kraft and others told 7 News that there is also infighting about the future of the superintendent, Dr. Richard Rosenberger. Some on the board had previously tried to oust him, while the three that walked out Monday night are trying to keep him on board. And board member Kraft said he wants to see a judge make the final decision on whether Shirley is a legitimate board member. Chairwoman Knight says the board will not pay to go to court over this unless the majority of them agrees to it. And right now, that doesn't appear to be the case. Tom? Boy, sounds like there's a lot in play with that school board tonight, Ann. So what do we believe is going to happen next? Well, it's not clear if those three board members will sit out the next meeting as well, but the chair says it can continue without them. Right, Tom? Well, keep an eye on what happens in that school board. Thank you, Ann. New tonight.